Our guests uh, to try and make sense of why this is such an important mission for ISRO and indeed for space exploration uh, around the world. Remember, ISRO becomes just the third space agency to do this. Dr. R.C. Kapoor is former space scientist at the Indian Institute of Astrophysics and uh, Dr. Srimati Kesan is founder and CEO of Space Kids India. Uh, Dr. Kapoor, let me start with you first. You know, very few uh, countries and space agencies have tried to send missions to the sun to try and study the solar surface, the solar corona, the outer solar surface, etc. Uh, because largely the thinking has been that it is, you know, consequential to be sending uh, a mission to the sun. There is so many million degrees of heat around the solar surface. Therefore, it is impractical to be uh, doing this. How would you view the purpose and the rationale of Mission Aditya in that light? What is it seeking to study and how practical is this mission to begin with? Well, uh, today we all have seen how the launch uh, was successful and it has placed uh, Aditya L1 uh, in a earthbound orbit of 235 by 19,500 kilometers. Uh, the figures uh, put out by ISRO and this uh, that is an earthbound orbit and uh, from time to time ISRO is going to raise this orbit and because we want to use the gravity of the earth to achieve eventually the escape velocity and then uh, Aditya L1 will uh, head for its uh, destination. Now uh, as you have asked what is the uh, main idea? See to start with it, it started as uh, placing a corona graph. Uh, in space. So, uh, and then uh, the scope widened and in 2015-16 uh, it was decided by ADCOS that is Advisory Committee on uh, Space Research that uh, it should be expanded and then more payloads were added and with time it uh, started to get a little more complex and uh, the most complex uh, instrument here is uh, the VELC uh, which is uh, built by my institute Indian Institute of Astrophysics yeah. in uh, collaboration with uh, some uh, laboratories of uh, ISRO and that is for the study of solar corona. Solar corona as you know we see mostly uh, during a total solar eclipse and total solar eclipses do not happen uh, often. The, uh, once in a one and a half year or so uh, one gets to see in case one is traveling long distances. Sure. Solar corona is uh, the outermost atmosphere of the sun and when the moon blocks the disk of the sun then only we are able to see it. It is very hot and we have to understand when the surface of the sun is about 6000 degrees Kelvin then why it is from 1 to 2 uh, million degrees. Now L1 point is one, a, one and a half million kilometers from the earth which means we are doing only 1 percent of the distance to the sun. So heat is not such a major problem okay. except that as uh, the instruments are uh, kept aboard uh, protected from the solar sunlight so that unusually uh, things do not get very hot and the instruments have to be kept at a certain temperature. So all that uh, precaution has been taken. So, as you already described, it is the study of the sun's atmosphere and how it affects the environments of the earth because our life today is highly technological yeah. and uh, we are dependent on uh, whatever satellites uh, do for us in terms of communication and various other things. So, if they are affected by uh, radiations from the sun for example, high energy particles mm. then how are we going to tackle that. So, all of that is going to be studied and because this is uh, state of the art equipment this time. So, it will excel in its uh, observations and provide us very precise uh, Dr. data. Dr. Srimati Kesan, uh, the other uh, you know curious and inquisitive thing that a lot of people have a uh, question that they have in their mind is of course, uh, this is going to be studying the solar corona, the outer surface and studying weather patterns on the sun, the solar winds etc and what kind of impact that will have on earth and earth's own weather patterns and we know that climate change is a definitive phenomena. Uh, how may the study by the Aditya L1 mission uh, sort of help us better understand the heating of the sun and thereby the heating of the earth's surface and what me, we may be able to do uh, if not to reverse to at least try and contain this whole fear of rise of 2 degrees Celsius uh, in the next uh, couple of decades. Zaka, I think there is an answer in your question itself. Well, uh, we have to try to contain and because we have to contain these contingencies, I think that's the reason. We've actually gone to this uh, 
you know the thought process of studying the sun so aditya l1 is actually going to give us a lot of study with regards to the you know changing patterns of uh, the temperature year on year now we are seeing that in spite of having so many layers in the atmosphere the piercing sun you know the heat of the sun is increasing every year and uh, we are really unaware as to why and what is the reason so if we are able to send this kind of a probe that could study the sun directly you know and continuously then i think we will be able to come with decipher as to why and what is the reason and uh, you know all these things all these things depend on the rays that are passing through all these atmospheric layers and coming to us so it is very very important and we are at the right place the l1 is the right place to be there to study the solar system i mean to study the solar flares solar storms and the rays without an eclipse that's very important okay and the other thing other thing is we are going to be getting non stop pictures data almost about 1440 every day 24 hours so which means to say every minute we are going to be studying this and the variation is going to help us to at least come with a redundancy plan so that is very very important and you know to rely on somebody else's mission is uh, not 100% full proof so to do something for ourselves i think here we are we've taken a bold step to do this okay. so huge 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 respect to uh, you know the government as well as isro for doing this and every indian is proud today well we all remember the kennington uh, event and the quebec event which actually because of you know we are talking about the impact on earth and that was the huge impact on earth when the entire quebec and uh, you know canada and brazil were yeah, the... uh, put off totally were put off blacked out for two days so this is the kind of impact that uh, you know the sun's rays can have on earth so for which we definitely need to study this understand this and we have to see how we have to come with a so dr kapoor uh, i i believe that